In this video, I thought I would show you a few different ways that you can work with your racks and your plugins in Cantabile. If you had a chance to watch any of the other videos I made using Cantabile Lite, then you should already be familiar with the layout of the program. All right, now I have a session loaded up. It has three different racks. Uh, the first rack here, I've named it Piano. Of course, that's where I put a, an instance of my uh, Ivory Grand Piano. Uh, the second rack here is named EQ. I've got a couple different uh, EQs loaded up, and uh, obviously uh, the third rack named uh, Reverb down here has got a couple different reverbs uh, ready to go for me. Now, if I play the sound of my piano right now, it is going to go through all of these plugins. Uh, that's because of the way things are routed right now. I've got the piano rack uh, sending its sound down into the EQ rack. Of course, it'll go through the EQ plugins, and then eventually down into uh, the reverb rack where it will go through uh, the reverb plugins before it uh, finally makes it to the output. Now what I want to do is uh, come up with a couple different piano sounds, uh, something that I can I can come back to uh, at a later uh, date and just uh, load up this session and go straight to that rack where I've uh, already tweaked my plugins. So what I'm going to do uh, in order to work with the plugins here, I'm going to suspend or bypass the ones that I'm not going to work with. And uh, while I'm talking about suspending and bypassing here, I'll just mention quickly the difference. The way I think about it. Uh, is if I have my car engine uh, running, but I just put the gear uh, shift in neutral, uh, that would be like bypassing the plugin. Uh, the plugin is still there, kind of waiting to be used. Uh, it hasn't really gone anywhere, but it's not going to process the sound. Uh, now, if I suspend the plugin, then that would be just like turning the car engine off. Uh, it uh, actually gives me some of my, uh, my system resources back by suspending it. And uh, this particular computer, being that it's uh, a few years old already, doesn't have quite the horsepower that some of the newer systems have. Um, now that becomes uh, more important for me uh, in particular. If I've got my five plugins loaded up right here, uh, my uh, load percentage down here is about 33%. And uh, if I have two or three or a number of EQs that I want to work with and a couple more reverbs as well, um, I can have them all uh, loaded up in these racks and ready to go, but I have to remember that in my particular case, I have to suspend these plugins uh, to uh, give some of that uh, that power back uh, for the the program to use. If I if I just bypass uh, all of my effects right here, you'll see that the uh, the system load here, the the load percentage didn't change at all. Um, it's not the sound isn't going to be processed, but uh, the the actual load on my computer hasn't changed. But if I suspend uh, my my effects plugins here. You can see it has a drastic uh, effect. It dropped it all the way down to 3%, of course. Now that's just uh, the load with just having my, uh, my piano loaded up here. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, suspend uh, the two uh, effects that I'm not going to work with. I'll use uh, you know this EQ, and I'll tweak it and do whatever I want to do. And I'll same with my uh, epic verb here. I'll do whatever I'm going to do. Uh, and then once I find that nice combination of, uh, of effects, I'm going to want to save that into another rack. The easiest way to do that, uh, I think, is just to drag and drop uh, down to this new rack line. Now, of course, you can just press the new rack button, and that'll create a new rack for you. But uh, you can save yourself that step. You just drag and drop. Now, because I want to copy, I have to use the uh, standard Windows copy uh, keystroke here. I'm going to press and hold my Control key down as I do this. And then when I let everything go, you'll see that this uh, rack has been created for me automatically. And it has a, a copy of uh, the uh, plugin that I was using up here. I'll do the same thing with my reverb down here. Drag and drop, holding the control key. And uh, when that's uh, done copying the plugin uh, into this new rack, I've got uh, a rack that has the sound that I've been working with, and I've got it uh, in one uh, place now. So when I come back, I can just uh, use this particular rack to process my piano sound. And I can do that uh, a number of different times and have different uh, combinations of plugins for different sounds that I'm looking for. Now, the only thing I have to remember to do, of course, is change the routing of my piano rack. Uh, right now, uh, of course, I haven't changed anything, so the piano is still coming down through these other racks. So what I want to do is just come back up to this Send 2 uh, and change to Rack 1. Now, my uh, piano sound is going to just uh, jump right over these other two racks and go right into uh, Rack 1 here. Now, I would obviously change it to something uh, a little bit more appropriate in, in terms of uh, naming it something, but uh, you know how to do that, so a Rack 1 will work fine for our purposes here. But uh, one thing that you have to remember, of course, is as you create uh, more combinations here, you're adding more plugins, and of course that's definitely going to have uh, an impact on your, on your resources here, your load percentage. So the easiest way to get the, the racks that you're not going to use out of the way 
is just to bypass the entire rack. So rather than come through and suspend each and every one of these plugins, just select bypass on the rack line, and that takes the, the whole rack um, out of commission, so to speak. So if I uh, bypass these two racks, and I can minimize them to, to get them out of the way since I'm not going to use them right now, you'll see that my, uh, my system resources, my load percentage down here, is actually where it was uh, when I was just using uh, those plugins within uh, these racks up here. So uh, I can do this, uh, you know, a few more times if I want. When I save the session, I can just come back and uh, go directly to that particular rack, and I've got that sound uh, ready for me uh, to be used uh, right away. So uh, hopefully, uh, now that you've seen a, a few different ways to work with racks and plugins, and uh, now a couple different ways to route it uh, between the various racks, uh, you'll be more comfortable as you start uh, using uh, your own uh, instruments and effects uh, in Cantabile.